We have a problem. Good. The identities of our serving agents have been exposed. The country is in a state of complete chaos. And the universe sends me you. Sir! Yes, all right, Buff. We're going on a mission, not a honeymoon. Yes, of course, sir. Ah, um... I wish I had an excuse. I think just uh, laziness, I think. <laughs> I, I have no other excuse. Um, yeah, there are long times. I suppose I can always think of something else that I'd rather be doing than not making another movie. <laughs> so I get distracted by other things or other movies or other ideas or doing, you know, plays in the West End. And, you know, there are, you know, there are, you know, there aren't a lot of strings to my bow, but mm -hmm. there are a few. So I often like to do other things. But at least when you come back to a franchise like John English, you feel as though it's it's not stale. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's still quite fresh in your mind. And I I enjoy playing the character, so that helps. I enjoy his his self delusion and his selfishness and his smugness and, and his uh, but also his courage and his determination. Uh, my relationship is okay. I mean, I'm an electrical engineer by training. I've got two, two, you know, degrees in electrical engineering or uh, control systems engineering. Actually, <laughs> was, was my research degree. Um, so I'm not a complete uh, luddite <laughs> or you know um, artist who refuses to embrace a modern technology. So I use technology in the traditional ways that we do but not social media. I have no interest in, in Facebook or, or Twitter or Instagram or any of those things. But, um, but, you know, the basics of technology I use and I enjoy. But I also enjoy, like Johnny English, I enjoy the older stuff and I enjoy uh, vinyl records and I enjoy analog cars. And this was obviously a perfect excuse to get the cars out. Yes, actually, we, we, we had something slightly similar to, similar to that, um, which we were going to do at the end. We were trying to work out because in the original script, he never went back or saw the children at the end of the movie. Uh, oh. I've given the game away now if, um, if you haven't seen the movie, but anyway. Uh, but we see him at the beginning, he's a geography teacher, Johnny English is retired, he's a geography teacher, uh, retired from the Secret Service, and he's, uh, he's enjoying himself at this uh, school in a way that I won't describe here. Um, and then, but then we were trying to work out ways to bring him back you know, with the children at the end, um, but we couldn't think of anything, so we didn't do it. And then in early testing of the movie, what the audience said is they wanted to see the children again. Uh, so that that general idea of Johnny as a teacher <laughs> of of young people, I think, is fun, and and I think the children are a very enjoyable part of this movie. Uh, I mean, Spain is a country which I love. I think it's uh, I think it's got a lovely culture and a lovely quality, and it's a very beautiful country. Some very beautiful parts to it and Johnny English is someone who just wants to be in beautiful places he wants to be in exotic sunny places where he can um, he can act out his fantasy of being a successful spy which of course he isn't or at least he's not very good at it but rather bizarrely he he is successful in that the movies tend to end with him him winning you know he tends to and I'm afraid you know this movie Johnny English strikes again it's the same story. He, he wins at the end of the day. But, but Johnny likes to be in exotic places, and I know there are lots of those in Spain. Sure. So I think it would be an ideal location, uh, to be honest, yeah, for a new sure. story. For sure. Um, how was the, you know, the shooting, the filming? filming uh, and did your co-stars ever you know, break into laugh while shooting with you? You'd, yeah, you'd have to ask them. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't think so. <laughs> My problem is that I take m movie making very very seriously and I find it actually very difficult I find it very difficult to, to act mm -hmm. uh, to be an actor and I get very stressed about it um, I feel a lot of stress when I'm m making movies I like the script bit beforehand and I like the editing bit afterwards but but the bit in between when I'm supposed to do what I'm good at which mm -hmm. is acting or be funny. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, I find that very, very hard because I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that I'm not doing it as well as I could do it. And that's a very annoying and frustrating thing. So when things go wrong on the set, I'm afraid I just tend to go very serious and I tend to go very introspective and very quiet, which isn't the kind of thing that's going to get anyone laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I don't think they will have many stories of, uh, of finding what I'm doing 
funny. <laughs> well, he certainly doesn't deserve them. It's just that they seem to drop into his lap, as it were. <laughs> um, and, uh, well, you know, we just, you know, Olga was a perfect casting for us because because not only you know is she a naturally beautiful woman, but she's also mm -hmm. actually in our movie I think really good, you know r really good in the part. She's completely convincing, but also very good with the comedy, which is n which n not every actor can do. Uh, and I think she, I think her reactions to Johnny, her interaction with Johnny, is n is p p perfect actually is beautifully judged. Mm -hmm. um, and she makes the scenes funnier because of the way she is. I mean, she's not being comic, being overtly comic, but her reactions to Johnny, the way she accommodates Johnny English, the way she sort of, you know, basically twists him round her finger, um, is is very well judged, I think. And 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 we we couldn't, in, in my opinion, have chosen anyone better for the part. Which is funny, like like a deadpan kind of way. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's her. It it's 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 her very. Yeah, it's her very serious reactions sure. to Johnny, which are inherently yeah, funny. funny. Yeah. yeah, there's something just funny about the seriousness sure. of what she does. I don't think they'd get on very well because <laughs> I think they're both very self-centered individuals, very selfish. You know, they absolutely and relentlessly pursue their own agendas and I don't think two people like that <laughs> are going to what John English needs well is, is someone like Boff played by Ben Miller who is a perfect sidekick because he's constantly you know um, giving way to Johnny constantly accommodating his needs and carefully dancing around him whereas you know Mr. Bean wouldn't give Johnny English that kind of room Mm -hmm. um, uh, Mr. Bean would be pursuing his own agenda sure. because he's uh, he's not self-regarding, you know, he doesn't care much about his appearance, Mr. Bean, whereas Johnny English definitely cares a lot about his appearance and he really wants to look good and, and it's that sort of smugness, of course, which we like because we like it when he fails to achieve mm -hmm. what he wants to achieve and, and the failure is funny. Virtual reality. It's completely immersive and some people lose track of their actual surroundings. I think we can pretty much guarantee that's not going to happen. Um. Ah. Tell me the agent you've got in the field is making some progress. Target acquired. This is a job for the shoebox inflator. Don't open it in the car! Can you reach your door handle? Not, not really, sir. Magnetic boots. Brilliant, son. No one must have the slightest clue we're here.